Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making my za'atar braided bread. It's a very easy and good looking recipe and all the ingredients will be listed down below the video. Don't forget to follow me on social media. And now let's start. Here I have some warm water. I added it some sugar and some active dry yeast. Mix them together very well and set them aside for about 5 minutes for the yeast to activate. Today I'm using my stand mixer. I added to the bowl some flour, some powdered milk, some salt, olive oil, the water and the yeast mixture after the yeast has activated, and finally some herbs and spices. I have paprika, onion powder, dried oregano and dried basil. Now all I'm going to do is to mix all these ingredients together, just like that. Of course you can use a bowl with a wooden spoon if you don't have a stand mixer. So I'm gonna mix and knead everything together for about 7 to 10 minutes or until I have a smooth and soft dough just like that. So at this stage my dough is looking good and nothing is sticking to the sides of the bowl. Now I'm gonna remove it, put it on my work surface and work it just a little bit with my hands. I just wanna form a bowl, like a bowl of dough, just like that. Make it soft and smooth and you can see all the herbs we added. They gave the dough a really nice smell. Now I have a clean bowl, I oiled it with some vegetable oil, put the dough in and of course you have to make sure that your dough is oiled from all sides so that it doesn't dry out while rising. So now I'm gonna cover it with a clean film. It should be tightly covered, just like that. And now I'm gonna put it in a warm place for about 1 hour and 30 minutes or until it's doubled in size. Now while the dough is rising, I'm gonna work on my filling. I have here some za'atar, I'm gonna add to it some olive oil and a little bit of vegetable oil. And then all you have to do is to mix it very well until you get to the right consistency. And za'atar is a Mediterranean blend. It's made out of dried thyme, lots of different spices, toasted sesame seeds and you can find it at any Mediterranean store. So here is my dough after about 1 hour and 30 minutes. It has doubled in size and beautifully risen. And I'm gonna dump it on a floured surface now and cut it into two equal parts. And for today's recipe I'm gonna use only half and I'm gonna freeze the other half for a later use. So now all I'm doing is to work it a little bit with my hands to form a rectangular shape, just like that. Of course it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm gonna grab my rolling pin and start rolling my dough. And I'm gonna roll it until I have a 50 by 20 centimeter rectangle with a half to one centimeter thickness. And now after rolling my dough to the dimensions that I want, I'm gonna spread my za'atar blend on top, spread that evenly, just like that. I'm doing it with the back of the spoon. And you should leave about one centimeter on the edges so that it's easier to seal at the end. And now I'm gonna roll it just like a cinnamon roll. I'm gonna start with the longer side. So roll it until you reach the end and seal to close tightly. So now I have a long log. I'm gonna leave about 5 cm at the top and start cutting the log into two parts, just like that. And you wanna make sure that the open part is facing upwards, just like that. And you wanna do that for both strands. It is looking pretty already. Now all I wanna do is to make a braid, a very simple one, just like a two strand braid. And while you're doing this step, you want to make sure that the open part is still facing upwards because that will give us a nicer result at the end. Continue to do so until you reach the end. And when you reach the end part, you want to seal them tightly. And now you want to bring the two ends together so that you form a circle, just like that. Be careful here. and now seal them together and you can use some water like brush the ends with some water to seal it properly now I'm gonna remove it very carefully to my baking sheet which I've lined with parchment paper now cover it with a cling film and let it rest for about half an hour so after about 25 to 30 minutes we wanna bake this beauty but before that of course you wanna make sure that your oven is preheated at 425 Fahrenheit then you want to bake it for about half an hour. And this is how it looked like when it's out of the oven. It is looking so beautiful and fancy. I love all these layers of za'atar. It's looking very delicious. Now I'm gonna cut into it to show you what it looks from the inside. 
And the great about this braid is that it has two textures, the fluffy and soft dough at the bottom, and the crispy and toasted dough at the top. I really love this combination. So that was today's episode. I hope that you enjoyed it and I also hope that you try it at home. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos. And I will see you soon. Bye!